California. This is a pretty give, atrocious uh, comments about law enforcement and positions. Just give me a minute on this. First of all, Joe Biden needs a do-over. You know why she, you know, you're talking about that script that she did about I'm the little girl. She gives lawyers a bad name. She will say and do anything to win. And that is why you cannot believe anything out of her mouth. You saw a different Kamala Harris uh, today at the press conference. And this was a Kamala Harris who wanted to destroy Joe Biden. Let me be very clear about her. She will say things about Black Lives Matter. She said that today. Well, Kamala, is it Black Lives Matter like David Dorn, the black officer? Is it Black Lives like the ones in Chicago? When you say Black Lives Matter, is it all Black Lives, or are you just saying that to appease the extremist group? That's a situation that she has to explain. The other thing about it is, if she is such a pro-law and order moderate Democrat, where's all the police unions supporting her? They're supporting Donald Trump. One last thing. She's a nasty person. She's mean. Allah, look what she tried to do to Bert with, with, with Justice Kavanaugh. And when you talk about what she's planning to do, if I was Joe Biden, I would sleep with one eye open because she is looking to take over the White House. She's only in it for herself, period. Wow. Dan Bongino, Secret Service, former NYPD. I hate the way police are being treated. The 99% of, of brave cops that put their lives at risk to protect and serve others. Yeah. Well, you know, Sean, nobody likes Kamala Harris. Like, can we just be clear on that? I mean, she competed in a Democrat primary and uh, didn't even make it to Iowa. It was not a Republican. I had nothing to do with it. I'm a registered Republican. Um, so the Democrats apparently don't like her either. I mean, I'm just giving you the numbers. If you believe in, like, science -y stuff, you know, liberals claim they believe in science and everything. Let's not forget as well um, the two most memorable moments of Kamala Harris's campaign was when she implied that Joe Biden was a racist, uh, number one. That was her uh, star is born moment. And the second one was when she said she believed Joe Biden's accusers, that he was all gropey, you know, and handsy and stuff. And, uh, you know, things, uh, putting hands on people he probably shouldn't have been doing. But uh, Kamala Harris is, um, she's the, you know, she's the Beto O'Rourke of John Kerry's, you know, uh, two candidates who would change. Remember John Kerry? I was before it, before I was against it. You know, when Beto, who would lick his finger and change his position based on the political wins, well, Kamala Harris is even worse. You know, I use this analogy when it's talking about Beto, but I think it applies better to Kamala Harris. Uh, she's like, remember Ghostbusters, you know, Gozer, the, 